Welcome to the fastest chaos. Two of my very close friends here against each other. Zayu from Germany with the Hans in game one, and then Kamrat, the prodigy of deathmatch as Dravidians in the red, coming from Sweden, same as my OP co-caster, who micros as well help better than anybody else in the game, Mr. Frost9. Hello. <laughs> what do you think about the map chain here? Totally crazy there. Two frozen lakes, a lot of woods around, and far map, so pretty decent, even though not great for gravity, I would say. I think uh, it's okay. Should be survivable, at least. But we'll see. Maybe Zayo goes for a market and goes on an all in or. He uh, has one place. He is working there on is one. The there yeah. is the market. Seems like he's gonna go heavy then. Rush. is rushing with paladins but a little trap there a little um point of still return but nothing else um yep. for the paladins we'll find the villager now on the right and more paladins coming in and there's a pause for you as well frost mm, yeah the pause yeah i see it uh, for you as well. yeah i was just checking because sometimes it's kept it thing when it pauses yep so. All good, all good. And we continue. Kevin has a sound issue. I feel that very well. I had sound issues for a long time. <laughs> and Kevin is down to seven villagers and house heavily. House is probably aye, aye, aye. too far away here. And it's trying to go around. Kevin just not rushing yet, but being gathered on the hill. <clears throat> And how's that 35 is problematic because that means the siege rangers aren't really coming out. Now they are, but not really it's in time really to good. the sea, eh? Looking really good for Zayu. Really good. Looks like a short game. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Camrat isn't going for any early archers so far, right? We see no ranges, as Kellett's saying in chat. Probably wants no help. And uh, siege ranger first to defend the rush. Does make a bit of sense to me, actually, to do the ranges later. Castle is at 70%. Oh, he really needed that castle. Oh, that is so... And now the cavalchers are there. Oh boy, uh, yeah, oh yeah, boy. That's good harassment. Should have done more There's of the star training building. with Cameron, maybe. Uh, is he still has two wheels. Oh, yeah, 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 it's going it up. up. He has two wheels again. Yeah, it's gonna get it. But doesn't get the left side one that gets either killed or deleted. And the castle goes up. At least one castle up. Siege <laughs> workshops are up too. Ramp's not even on the way, so it's quick trebuchets for Zayu, who's gotten a castle up on that middle hill ridge there. And if Cameron can eventually stabilize, I think the matchup is great for him if he can take it slow push in the middle. Yeah. So yep. still not over yet. But the Hanami count is being in Hanami count, as he doesn't need houses. And the first prep is already out for Zayu. Uh, it's looking really tough for camera. Yeah, really it is. Yeah. yeah, with the trap, also with that hill in front of his base. Um, yeah. That hill is making it a way better map for Hans. That he has like a little trap from Zayu. Also very good usage of those middle hills to castle on that one. Then jumping forward on the deadly one. And camera it's eight villagers. Trying to add more barracks. Trying to add those ranges. Now see joint just have constantly been getting sniped. That one's getting a decent shot off. That one was a good shot. I like how Zayu sent a villager down to camera's no. right corner. <laughs> they make it TC there as well. <laughs> Ooh, More villagers. Did you see that only shot? No, I was looking at damn TC. Oh boy, uh, I see the dead camera just so Yeah, that looked very effective. We killed half of them, I think, with one shot. Uh, doesn't get that right. It's also another decent one, but it's just not enough, right? 20 population to 114, no castle anymore. Don't think that's survivable anymore. He's out of gold though, Zayu. Oh, so 20 on gold. To, he has to mix in hussars now. And all the workshops to the front have been going down, so Kemrit needs to make more workshops for SO. Making more to the back. He's thinking of all these things that I like, but I think it's a bit too late. Yeah, yeah. 
It's the hot Sahil okay. streaming in from the right side already. <laughs> oh boy, Sayu and all of Keller's playbook here. Annoy your opponents from everywhere. Yeah, that's very annoying. Yeah, Cameron, we'll and probably we get another cast now. It's out of Tau Centers now, um, Cameron. Zero TC Gaming. 11 villagers. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, with the iron here, I guess, in trade? <laughs> that was definitely irony. It's such a slow save. It's very unfortunate he got to play against Hans here. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a slow save on the other side, right? That Dravidians would have done good against. I think they would have been good against Franks. Probably. Franks. Pujara. Yeah, it feels like a bit of an odd pick though with like the six remaining for Zayu maybe. Yeah. Only those two. It went out but he has the elephant archers out now. Keller says 10 elephant archers out and Dravidians win it. We have 13 elephant archers, so Dravidians are winning it right. It's pushing back a little bit, yeah. But it's gonna be so far behind in the economy. Has the Siege Elephant working on the stable stand to the back as well? <laughs> and this is not Otter Hypecaster, because I'm just thinking about what Keller said. So this is Keller Hypecasting by proxy. <laughs> yeah, wait for Zayu to kill those Elias. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, the Elias are really hard to kill. <laughs> Tell me, I, I tried for two hours and couldn't kill Elias. Yeah, it's, co it's completely out of echo now, Zayu. It yeah. can't make anything. Like, are we really considering that there is the... I mean, if there's any anybody who can survive ridiculous amounts of things and turtle it out, it used to be funny, but now it's Cameron, right? Cameron is... a turtle. And if anyone can turtle this, and he has the alien archers, he has 21 alien archers, but he has no food, so... If he can keep them alive, yeah, he can, he can definitely push them back then. Yeah, and how do Kans kill Eliatras? Uh, he has to make Paladins, but he doesn't have Eco for that. Paladin help and like surround them somehow, I guess? Somehow. Paladin uh, to okay. take. Or, or and make it by Mangonel. Mangonel? Mangonel! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> He's really making Mangonels! <laughs> what is this? I love it! <laughs> let's go, God. Free Mangonel. Uh, let's see, can demo the army. Yeah, it's ice, so no demos here. At three mangonel. Sami's unkillable, it's 94 army. <laughs> I, not a good hit there on the halt. And you, the hives are also killing the trebuchets or not, also, because the mangonel is. Uh... I mean, Rams could also be an option. There's no siege really behind, besides traps. I oh, know there's an SO. Yeah, two SOs, but yeah, not that much. And the back is being colonized somewhat by Camrad, but the stables are less hidden. The <laughs> stables are still there. The, the, the castle is shooting the town centers. Ah, uh, yeah, that's odd. I mean, what a, what a, it's, I'm already loving this set. It's so hard <laughs> back in that set. <laughs> Full Just skirm? Like yeah, we could also go skirm, right? When in doubt, skirm it out. Felix, I really needs more farmers if he wants to do something about this. Yeah, he's denying a castle. Trying to yeah. kill it, but the early archers are probably also taking out the trap. I, I, like, I can't believe... I was I was trying to joke and hype cast when I said, like, now there's 10 elephant archers on the field, so the druidians are winning, because Keller said that. Yeah. I can't yeah, believe Keller was right and Cameron's actually coming back. Uh, really strong, but he also needs an economy now, Cameron. But yeah. He has no food. No one, food. One on gold. He has one economy. <laughs> he has one army. That's basically it. Can he push back with one army? Is water might save, are you? Why? You ever see you drafting hands? I know it's fake. Okay. 
I think hands are good. I think you I just need skirms. Skirms, paladins. Yeah, skirm both. Yeah. Or oh, like, or oh, Tarkins, yeah, Skirm Tarkin. I like Tarkin even more than a Paladin. Camera has no food, and he's doing nothing about it. <laughs> but he's being raided, now the Stavids are dead, now he could make villagers. Yeah, he has 14 villagers. Uh, and he's fighting up the hill, even though it's early archers. He has 14 <laughs> villagers, hmm. I feel like he's gonna call it now. Ah, he's making monks, yeah. Zayu is sending in a monk. So it's 29 pop against 180. Ah, uh, you still hunts things, right? I mean, it looked like Cabaret could really come back with that. It was <laughs> ridiculous. Be funny. And the magnet is... Like, it but it's just back a little economy. bit at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked really nice. strong when he had all those Ilya archers, but somehow they he lost most of them now also, just against Kev archers. Being outnumbered and due to the Tarkin Mitri there as well. So yeah. 10 Ilya archer? Exactly 10 Ilya archer are not enough, at least not in Kevrat's opinion, because he resigns with exactly 10 <laughs> Ilya archers. <laughs> I love that we also ended on that exact number that Keller mentioned. One zero. Keller knows also everything. He's uh, also a lexicon. So you think Keller's also going to donate $150 to the tournament now? <laughs> you never know. You never know. Uh, I know. I know Keller isn't. <laughs> Keller's a poor student, so I don't think he will. And I don't think he needs to. The red flag did it. Something else. Uh, Ram's there too. I think what was most, like the best move from Zayu was this back base. Also kind I of beautiful base up top. I wonder if he sent forward the villager by mistake and then started building, or if it was intentional from the like the get go. Hard to hard to know. Mm -hmm. I think it was intentional. Like he had the four villages for the castles, anyways, right? Sent one over. Yeah, that is true. I don't think so. At the drafting board, see the Dravidians gone and the hunt an earlier pick for Zayu. Yeah. Zayu is not Keller. Winning out. What do you wow, think we'll see next? They're already into the next game, so I, I can't tell you. I, ah, I see the that means I have to guess now. You have to guess. I have so much to do, though. <laughs> <laughs> Besides guessing, so I can't really look at the Okay, door. okay, okay. I'll tell you this. It's an interesting matchup. Uh, so it's Bohemians, because I said interesting about them earlier. By logic, it's Bohemians. What would Bohemians be interesting against? Mm, Bohemians could draw us. Should I tell you if you're correct or not? Yes. You are double wrong. Of course. Oh boy, Persians goth. <laughs> what do you think about it? Um, the only tip that Persians are uh, not bad uh, against in Camrat's draft, right? That's what I said earlier. I think it's totally gonna depend on the map. If you spawn close here, Goths is gonna win. Like, if it's four, Persians is gonna win. So, yeah. If I have to pick, I, I would uh, go for Persians. I think I would do the same. But in all other matchups that were available for, like, Persians, I would yep. pick Tatars, Ethiopians, Bulgarians, or Bohemians. <laughs> so I, I don't understand why Zayu is playing Persians here. Yeah, who knows? And Camrat probably expected Ujaras, Franks, or Koreans. Best of 21 killer. <laughs> On Hyper Random? Sure. Let's do it. All right, show match uh, after the tournament already confirmed. I'm, I'm gonna clump every time. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it sounds really stressful. Oh god. What is I, I god? Oh, I, I thought, I thought. close map. Oh, let's go live. Yeah. I will spec delay. I'm going live. Okay, okay. let's go. Uh, that's a really nice map for the gods, yeah. 
yeah. um, water on the outside as well. Probably also good for the gods who have amazing water. I think you can even travel these brown lands there. But let's see their start. Starting with a camel, that's... Goss would probably have wished for a strong starting unit here. Yeah. <laughs> a cavalry. No, no, yeah. Yeah, probably a cavalry. Yeah. Strong cavalry starting unit to the opponent is possible to have. And Ah, Hamlet made two? Two habitiers, but not five. Interesting. And so Hamlet are coming. Lost, they lost some villagers. Ooh. Three villagers. Ooh. But we'll see if that's enough. Uh, we will see. The host cards are streaming in. But they are very strong with the starting camel there by Zayu. And Camrat can be a bit shaky in tournaments. I think he is nervous. Uh, also looked a bit nervous at the last start of the last game. Nice clump by Zayu. Has that castle wills walled in. Nothing yeah. really walled in at the front. Two kills for Camrat, but still down in Eco KD. Uh, evens it out now. Sava also pretty good in the rush now. Yeah, finding the villagers. Unfortunately for camera. 4 to 4 right now. Not really what you're wishing for with the quicker sieve. Habitus being completely switched into now already. Ah, there isn't much like place to, see... to build on. Like, where, where are you going to farm? Uh, if you get to that point. No, you fish maybe? But you. Ah, Can but it's block. walled off, like the back fish is behind wood, right? Yeah. Ah, so the well, only available water is the shallows. What a myth, man! You need to cut to the outside, then you can easily <laughs> fish there. I think the ghosts want to make a TC on the outside ASAP, cut through there, and then have free fish boom there. Like, protect yeah, the yeah. fish booms, right? Let's see if they realize that. For now, uh, defensive castles coming up for Zayu, Habit is moving forward. Kind of nothing countering Habit is right now, a few elephants being made, so Savage should take very costly exchanges here. Uh, that was very costly by Zayu. Very costly. Even if he got back some gold for that. <laughs> Why am I talking nonsense, Yellow? Because you can honor your cut? Yeah, you could also honor your cut. You also, like, it's only 50 wood, so you could easily cut with her just to... It's just It would have been annoying to be Hans here, like, go back and cut <laughs> with a treble or something. But it's 50 wood trees, no? They look like it's reeds. Yeah, yeah, you just went, you just sent five ah. villagers and then look in one minute again and then you make the door. Yeah, That's yeah, That's why yeah, I said yeah. villagers, because it's only reeds. Yeah, th th then it's fine. Cutting outside for fi Where are you gonna make farms, Keller? You wanna make your farms here? You have safe food being cool. It's building a market, Camrat. It's gonna deny Zayu the extra gold. Oh, yeah, that's good. No market for Zayu that I see Zayu developing to the south. There is a little bit of space, I guess. But uh, yeah, Persians survive to start really easily. 5 to 5, Eco KD only. I think that's great news for Persians. Also, they are gunpowder castles now, right? Really helping against the Goth infantry, I think. I think he's looking really good for camera. He, he can just spam his helps forever. And uh, yeah, I think Sai is in a big problem. Yeah, this isn't Paladin, this is Savar. Savar. But they die to have it, yes. Like, Savar, nothing here. Mm, didn't probably work. Uh, good <laughs> trip mass for camera and. Am I live? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm live. You're live. Nobody thinking about the fish. But it's only one tree here, even. Or you can dock here already. I think you can dock on. You can dock on the sides, but that's a little bit risky. I know. The dock place are there. I was wondering if the docks are on the brown or outside of the brown. Zayu is trying to fish oh. boom up north and south. So Zayu is going for the fish boom, but not for the safe one, but for the not that safe one. Yep, yep. That can easily be raided with everything because it's shadows. L look at Kevrat's massive span of helps that he has in queue. <laughs> 112! <laughs> Did he use the market? Oh, he sold wood, yeah, he sold wood. I don't know okay, if you yeah. want to do that though, if you spend that many habitus. You want to deny it from the Persians, I think that's the reason to do it, but it needs quick we do. No, I, I think Sayu so took the market. Sayu so took the market. Sayu so took the market? Oh! Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, it's it, 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 it not support. enough though. It's yeah, okay. it's not really enough. Cameron is pushing hard here. Killed the second castle as Onagers and Tabidius, the combo you want against Elephant Score. And Bombard Cannons finding nice score kills too with that one Bombard Cannon. Cameron with 112 to 10 army. After a shaky start, really strong play by Cameron. Yeah. All in, no food. Let's go. <laughs> Cameron doesn't need farms, right? Zero, really, zero foot eh? last game, zero foot this game. Yeah, yeah. Can we add a new area? Probably. Just need an army and micro. Can and you walk out from that dead. water in the north? Like, yeah, can you, you, can, the, you can. Yeah. You can, yeah. yeah. Uh, does he see the fish? Yeah, he sees the fish yeah, coming does. back now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like that's the main farm economy, right? 28, yeah, it's the only food economy for Zayu is those fishing ships on both sides. And Cameron realizing he's on the north water, might also be in the south water, also sending Huskats over there. Also, don't look terribly efficient, these fishing ships here. Yeah, yeah. He's just killing the dogs. I think killing the fish might be better. Yeah, yeah, north he's killing the fish. In the south, he's or in the, <laughs> he's like, killing what the dogs. West, he's <laughs> also on the gold eco. Hey, Sire is dead. He's completely dead. Can't do anything now. Ah. Like, he lost his main defensive line, and now it's just. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be very hard. Okay. I guess turns aren't that great against Goss. Uh, we then no, started no, no, super no. close. They, they, they are. They are on the, on the right map. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> not on this map, but yeah. So you're not calling the best of 21 off yet? No, 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 no. It, 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 it's gonna happen. And, we, and we're gonna move it to Michi. So Keller becomes very <laughs> happy. Michi seems to be to, to always be, if you're allowed to fix him, it's always Ceres and Persians. Ceres and Persians, yeah. Yeah, Zayu is now 92 pop with 80 pop cap. Uh, fish in the north uh, have uh, not all died because there is Cameron's fish now. Sad yep. that nobody went for that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's losing his fishing ships now in south. Yeah, the Hellscats have realized they could also kill the fish and not the docks. And these four will probably take out everything. Cameron making a forward castle there, securing some stone and gold plus the further push. Yep. Mid Keller says Mitch is the worst map that was ever created. No, that's force nothing. Wait, why, why do you like Michi but don't like Forest nothing? Because you play on normal speed and you start in the dark ages. I, that's just the it's usual. Like there's some settings it, on that map. That's like Took recipe matters. for a long game. A long and slow game. Water prison. Best map. Water prison. Oh, he calls it. GG. GG. One one. He one one. the sit with the gods. It's looking good for my prediction now. <laughs> and yours. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. What was your prediction? 3-1, Zayu. Oh, my friends, 3-2. It's looking good for both, yeah. but maybe even better for Bind, right? 3-1. <laughs> I think the odds have shifted more towards a 3-2 than a 3-1. If you just... Uh, we'll two. see. We'll see. <laughs> okay, GG. <laughs> Happy with the irony today, but the Dravidians almost came back, so... Yeah. He came back via Persian KD. 552, 281, still good, but it's against Goth, so... They expect to have yeah. a bad kitty and win. That's a nice timeline on your stream. Oop, I just switched the scene. That was cool. Uh, all right, I think I need um, one minute break. Uh, be right back and maybe you can do some predictions with chat if they probably have started already. 
Uh, I can guess my. I can do my prediction then. Uh, yeah, I've, been, I've been wrong like every time, but let's see. Uh, do we have? Yeah, we need a Koreans. Koreans versus something. Korean Bohemians. There we go. Korean Bohemian. Yeah, Hagi. Yeah, you and me. We're on the same team. Let's see. Okay, I can see the matchup. And uh, one person in the chat has been correct. I, I won't tell who, but one person is correct. Yeah. You and me, Hagi, we, we, we think alike. We should uh, play together in a team. A team tournament. Should really do that. One person's correct, but let's see here: Gujaras, Bulgarians, Bohemians, Koreans, Bulgarians, Gujaras. One person ah. is correct, and you gotta love who it is. Yeah, it has to be ha Huggy and you, but that's two people. Or it is Keller and Evans, but that's also two people. How is one person correct? One person is correct. I oh, it's two. Then. That, Sorry. I yeah, it's two. Two. Two persons. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to give me riddles I can't solve, man! <laughs> Sorry, Keller. Sorry. No, oh, it's, it's Amon's <laughs> guess then. I already forgot yeah. what it was. Yeah. It was something with Kutaras, right? Yeah. Are we at the back to this day? No. Are nope. you paused somewhere? Or... I'm paused at zero seconds. OP man. It's up to much and pause at 10. Okay, let's go. I'm at 10 now. I'm ready. Yeah, uh, let me turn off the music. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Another brutal map here in the fastest chaos. Little, <laughs> little, little river Shen. Uh, river Lee. Thingy in the Middle East, and like uh, should... Sai with Kujaras, Kamrat with Bulgarians. Go on, Frost. Oh, should be good for the oh, yeah, they can easily counter the two heavy seer that they started with, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. We also and got the villager. Yeah, can yeah. Kamrat just defend it with the two CA? I don't yeah, hate I think... it, I think, with no treadmill cranes. If... That's got to be really tough here. He needs a clump or something. Yeah, Ryder's already the starting unit to defend against the Kevin just Kevin isn't really paying attention to his rush there. Or to his Maybe you should have called a re here. Yeah, Maybe and still a re. has seven seconds left. Three, two, one, no, re. Yeah, I yeah. think so. It's a good matchup if the map is further away. Yeah. That's a nice map for a re, but Kevin struggles to think about re's. From what we talked about, even though okay, I okay. read every training set we did <laughs> and try to make him think about the reason and we talked about the reason a lot every time. I if it's the one in that game, there are indeed dogs in the corners. Yes. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna see trade cocks, unfortunately. I don't think we're gonna see late game, yeah. Lot of riders, fewer riders here, no camels, and it is purely a health defense for Camrad. Whereas three villages idle, it looks like, and no houses, that Trevor still is not up at 60% stance right now, working on another house. Pop advantage, very big for Zayu though, and it looks like if Zayu has a fast tip that he can kill with, and Camrad has a no trap reprensive, oh, beautifully baiting the helps into a demo stance as well. That was really nice. But it's only making those riders, like no elephant out here. I guess he wants to go for the unit unit. I think he's just thinking kill. Kill, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true, no, still blood. range, right? 
Maybe you don't make it, ranges because you make ships, but that doesn't make sense as it costs food. And well, yeah, looks, okay, it's just dying right over. as well. So. Six villagers, but they're all garrisoned, right? Yeah. Three there, yeah. three there, yeah. Starts for Cambridge have been rough indeed, yeah. Both have been playing a lot, by the way. Like, both these players have probably been two of the ones that have, at least from posting codes and from what I've seen, from what I know, I do know in this case, have been playing. Uh, the whole days with them playing most of the days. Yeah, they've been very active. That's very nice. Yeah, 21 pop. The uh, Chakram throws are there now. Elephant has been completely ignored. We do see some cannon gains looping around as well, together with some ship support. And Zai is just taking everything. And Kemet has to call it here. 2 to 1 lead for Zayu, which is, I think, good. For your odds, and for mine as well. They look good. <laughs> Is they looking good? Better for us. Is they looking good? <laughs> yeah, that was a brutal map for that matchup. Yeah, yeah. Cameron really needs to think about the breeze. So what do we have left? Still have Koreans. Korean. Hmm. Koreans. Okay, I'm gonna do another bad prediction then with the sips. <laughs> uh, Korean Tatar. That's my new prediction. <laughs> you were correct last time. Say going with so... Koreans, Bohemians. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I, I know the matchup. You also see it? I do. I think there was a reused. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm in that one or the next one, but I got two codes. So, what, what are you watching again? Are you seeing something uh, right now? I'm seeing water. And Bengali yes. premiums, but that's obviously the same for both. Okay, what what what's starting? Um, I'm at twenty six seconds. Okay. Well, we we'll find out if you're on the right map. Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one, let's go. We've got Bengali against Bohemians, and if. Camrad took the real Bohemians here. He got really unlucky because it's a water map, and Bengalis are better on water. Are they better? Not much better, right? Mm -hmm. Because they also well, like heavy demo. They have shipwright, I think. Over the ship oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. If they have shipwright, yeah. Then it's gonna be tough. Very strong I mean, hero. I mean, there's a fast fire difference, but that doesn't come to play in DM too much. Um... Lancelot... He was strong until he uh, met an elephant. But uh, yeah, Cameron got two kills, so maybe a reason not to read this. Maybe he read before. I think he probably read the map before and be instead. So they had yeah. two codes at the same time. Do you would favor Bengalis here, Walter? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm what gonna go with camera. I'm gonna go against my prediction, say camera. Then. <laughs> I think those Hussite wagons, like, they're strong. Very strong against ships. Well, uh, bad against demos, though. Uh, I think they only. Bengalis also only get normal demo, right? Yeah. Elias start with Zero is really bad. Yeah, that's kind of the reason why Zayu lost four villagers here. But uh, Bengali start with more, right? So it's not as bad. And we see the Bengali death ball moving forward. <laughs> it's looking yeah, so demoed, funny. He, Combined he with the, the, the camel. Did you see that? Oh, the back train camel. No. <laughs> Poor back train camel. Also really bad for camel. That's animal cru cruelty.
Uh, I still favor Camrat. Going as the prediction. Let's go, Camrat. I hope so. I want to see game five, but I like Bengalis on this map more. Uh, Camrat has more pop space available though. Zayu is housed at 90. Is I think hmm, this water is so big and not really. Oh no, Yulitz can walk over all of it, I guess. Then makes demos a little bit better. Yep. But yep. Uh, it might be too big. And we have the Galleon mass, right? I don't know if normal demos are doing too much here. Yeah, Galleons are doing nothing against those wagons. Not true. <laughs> they are standing there. But where the hell blitz him? I wanna go on water, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But it's just wagon halberd here now. And demos versus elephants. Okay. Good use of the demos there. Uh, he already population. queued up all his wood, camera. Mm, that's, yeah, that's a bit of the big problem of Bohemians on water as well, right? They only yeah. use wood units anyways, and that's an extra amount of wood units. Whereas Bengalis, they only want to use food units, and then it's wood units, so that's perfect for them. Looking good, though, for Zayo. Looking good for Zayo. He's mixing yeah. in some cannon galleons. Oh, the cannon galleons also countering the wagons, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Still yeah, Cameron doesn't have much army, and there's so much army there. Like, all these fights, even though the <laughs> wagons might be nice, it's just double the army versus half the army fight, and Cameron can't really retreat his ships, right? Yeah, Switching it's to galleons now, but I think the galleons start might have been the right call here since there's no heavy demo. And yeah, the demo yeah. start kind of lost the game here. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if he somehow managed to stop this, I mean, <clears throat> Zayus are out of gold. <laughs> and he has no queued up unit. Looking very bleak though. Yeah, and Zayu even has ships outside patrolling, they are denying potential eco expansion, so it's already gone for outside <laughs> docks. He has fishing ships and getting gates on the outside. Start was rough, but like, I don't know, after that, Zayu seems so comfortable. Maybe more docks and the galleons instead of those demo. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think galleons would have been a better concept of them. Also a mistake I made in myself. A true golden swamp where the water is like close to another landmass so demos are like met up, but on these big water scales is better I think than demos. Like it's huge yeah, yeah. water, right? Yeah. Uh, and also really unfortunate, like I think Cameron used his re on this one and then got another water map, so feels a bit like Webby yesterday. Yeah, I wonder what he read on, like, the map. Wonder yeah, how yeah me too. If it was better than this. <laughs> and maybe fires are even the choice. Oh, but he doesn't get fast fire, does he? Yeah, no, no, I guess the Castle Age version. Then not. First 3-1, no? What do you mean first 3-1? There have been quite some first 3-1s in the tournament. There's not been a free one earlier in the tournament? There have been a lot, like Leaf Dark Killer Mon was a 3 1. Oh, yeah, was a 3 yeah, 1. Yeah. There's for sure there's some others as well. There's some in the qualifier. Andy Oxygen was 3 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably like five more. So. Andy's <laughs> asking who is this co caster? What's that? I don't know. I. I... Who am I? Who am I? Kellas has a noob. <laughs> Keller, we're gonna have that best of 21. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Yeah, now, now that he said you're a noob, he has to play it on Michi. I think. <laughs> on Michi, we're gonna have that. Kemet lost all the water control, is being hard pushed here. I think he's staying in because it's the last set of him in the tournament. Yeah. 
Oh, I see for Camrit. Oh, and they can't retreat. They can't retreat. Like, it's stuck there. Mm. <laughs> you didn't know for us to still play? What's going on here? Andy. Andy, man. That's very disgusting. <laughs> How, how did this become from the set and how Great Zayu is playing at the problems of Bohemians to like stream chat grilling the co-cast? So normally I'm the one uh, being grilled by chat I don't and know, the co-cast is only praised. I've been like moved the to the co-cast role. I'm not allowed to play anymore. Mm. Seems like Everett is doing one last attack out in the lake. That's the effort for the wagons. I mean, it pushed him back a little bit. We gained one tile, Sire. We're gonna win the war, Sire. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Sire. It's kind of a civilian thing, right? They're meant to protect civilians. I think you know better than me. I think the idea is that, like. I think the idea with like the peasant revolts is where they used to the wagons it's kind of the same like in the wild west with the wagonberg that's where wagonberg is the german expression for what we call the whole western thing is very marketable i don't know how to translate it the game doesn't help because it calls it wagonberg tactics which is kind of the german or i guess as well czech word for it some history is stuff right there if I see myself in top 16, Andy? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I think Zayo let me win. It's, it's called a wagon castle in English, apparently, which is... I would have been able to translate that as well. <laughs> but you know, this in, in, in the Western movies, when they like the settlers get attacked and then they form their, their wagons around their camp. Ah, uh, yeah, try yeah, to shoot yeah. out of it, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. kind of the same thing with these wagons. Yeah, yeah. Or did I use I Google Translate? I haven't seen that for a while, though. Like the wagon stuff. Circle the wagons, says Capture. Wagon <laughs> Fort is what it's called in English. Wagon Fort, okay, Wagon Fort. Google Burger. Translate, Rip. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Like du during watching this game, I'm not gonna go to my shelf and take my Oxford dictionary out. I like Wagon Burger. That's the best name so far. Wagon <laughs> Burger. Oh, yeah, I'm already <laughs> hungry, man. <laughs> but the Wagon now, Burger is really going strong. I mean, they're prolonging the game for another 15 minutes. Yeah. They are, they are. They're not dying! So you Kevin is towering! The He's coming back on the backwater with the tower rush. Let's go! This is like game one, but... Uh, yeah. Google also said it's called a coral. Yeah, coral! That sounds like... That sounds like Western movies! Coral? Yeah, it sounds like Western movies to me. Okay. Eleven's fry is so bad. Oh yeah, he's vegetarian. I think he doesn't look very good. <laughs> That's so what Andy said. It was funny. <laughs> I still remember when Frost preferred to play with some random Suno people instead of the amazing Austrian Frost. Dude, you weren't <laughs> you weren't you weren't freaking? Yeah, we were playing the the Winter's War together. Like when yeah. I first came here. So, but I, I let the team down. I think this tournament might see might tell us what's the best better decision. Again, maybe. I don't know, Ganji isn't it freaking so. It's a it's mercenary. Kind of is, though. It's... And he's being all weird with themes. He's freaking forever, but besides that, it's changing every minute. <laughs> but this wagon is a Ships against war galleys! Uh, builds against uh, Kanagans! Kelly, it's weird mix up because of the wagons. Yeah, I like the vid uh, vids are hunting down the cannon galley. <laughs> the third wagons are 
Like, I don't know, I don't think they're winning the game in any way, but they're really surviving way longer than I was thought. Yeah, they, they are definitely prolonging the game. That's for sure. Yeah, for like 15 minutes already. Yeah, he's producing up for two castles. <laughs> Cabra's bass is basically two castles and one town center. Does he have a town center still? Where? Yeah, next to his. Uh, oh, yeah, castle. next to the castle. It's an impressive fort. I mean, this is a peasant revolt, right? Uh, he's expanding now. A barrack. Down south. New colony. Oh, second barrack, even. And he has a uh, keep there. And the keep, Keeping yeah. him yeah. in the game. It just disappeared, though, but yeah. The wagons are still going. There's mod contracts on your channel, Dragon Andy? I, I, I'm, I'm a VIP, I feel like I should be able to read them. <laughs> oh, the ships are going up on, on land. Eh, yeah, it's game ending move, right? <laughs> That's a funny bike. The elephants are the game ending move, because they actually go against the war against. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's comeback time now, 20 war wagons, set wagons, but they are dead. No comeback, PG well played is PG. called and Zar to the U goes to the round of 16. And that's the last oil for RM, but I remember out of the tournament. Oh, well, you have to make Sayo one, so make Sayo a Val Valhalla member, then you still have one. Yeah, our plan was Cameron beats him and then we ask him again. Didn't work out. Well, the prediction was correct. <laughs> so that's something. Yeah, yours was GG. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cameron, are you? I would be interested in how the map looked that Cameron read, because Cameron read before this map here, right? And that yeah. was unfortunate. That's what I got. Like, the message I sent you, Kamet, was just for... I, I thought you should have read the game before this. That's why I sent you that. I had no clue about, like, what happened in this one. Mm. Give me 10k DM Nations Cup. Give me 10k, I'll do it. Yeah, would be lovely. There was no <laughs> re. Ah, oh, there was... There was no re... Uh, maybe they have made a new lobby. Oh, uh, two, two games that Cameron should have read. <laughs> two good matchups on a land map. Cameron just being nice. Oh, there's being no nice inside it. Face. Yeah, I'm, I'm so like, it feels hard now I know Cameron to tell you that. <laughs> I, at least, I, I got shit maps, but at least I used my re. <laughs> oh. But nice to Zayu. Good for Zayu. Two good maps for Zayu. The one before was very well played by Cameron. I think yeah. if you got better maps, we would have got, totally gotten the 3 2, at least either way. Yeah. Just defending my prediction there a bit. But congratulations, Zayu <laughs> is in the round of 16 in the single elimination. Congratulations, Zayu. And... Well played to you, Cameron, as well. GG. That also means. I should fear camera for the Silver League. Shit. Scoreboard, I completely forgot, of course, again. 3 1 is the result here. 3 1. I think he fit it to in dollars. Yeah, that probably <laughs> won't be enough. But uh, we already had a $150 donation today. $800! Fast as chaos. Yes. Yeah. Closing in on that, that 1k mark. Hmm. Only 200 to go. Yeah. Yeah. Any closing words, Mr. Frost? Mm, oh no, we should interview we... Zayu. He qualified. Yeah. yeah. Send, him, send him in. Send him in. Send him in. Now it's my time to grill him. 
I almost forgot it. Just with it. Uh, he's already there. <laughs> hey, yo, Zayu. Congratulations. Hey, ho. Thank you. Zayu. Congratulations. Now I get grilled, I heard. <laughs> mm hmm. Now it's my turn to grill you. <laughs> grill away first. You already did that last week. <laughs> well, you, you, you made Mango Nuts one game, so I, I yeah, won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I did. Th those were for you. Freaking Andy, it's also being nice. GG, Sayu, you are insane. This is... Yeah, thank you. You're getting a lot of love now. That's nice. I thought you were about. Uh, you're not. You're not. I, I thought you're like grilling. I thought you were asking. The no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm waiting no, no. for the questions. Okay. No, no, there will be no grilling. No, no. How do you that. feel now that you're in the round of 16 with Magnets? Yay! I feel. I feel good. Um. So I actually played Kamrad the other day, uh, I think two days ago or yesterday, I don't know, and he just beat me 3-0. <laughs> and I was like a bit worried that uh, this might go wrong. But after all, I'm quite happy with my performance today. Um, yeah. Yeah, big and mistake by Kamrad playing, playing you then, right? If he would have just played you, <laughs> yeah, not yeah. played you, then he would have 3 0 you today. He should have yeah. saved it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you did you did you like know all his strats now after that that three zero and use it against him today? Yeah, I mean I think most of the sifts that he played there were banned now, so uh, <laughs> it was fine. I think it was like Spanish, Vietnamese, and something else, and all of those were banned, so <laughs> didn't have to a rigged <laughs> a rigged ban. Uh, do you want to go through the draft and games or yeah other plans? Yeah. Yeah. What do you thought about thinking about uh, your draft and his? Uh, I was quite happy, I think. I think the elephant sifts are in general quite good against his sifts. I uh, was a bit worried about Ethiopians at the wrong time. Uh, also Goth potentially at the wrong time. Would have liked to face them with Gujara perhaps. But uh, I think the matchups were quite good good for me in general. So can't really complain. Hans Stravidians can go either way, but I think my rush was really good and didn't really give him an opportunity there. Yeah, do you think it was weird that he picked in game? No, I think one one beard was really weird by him. Which, which pick do I thought? I thought the goth pick was weird. I think no, I thought the you you picking the Persians in game three was a bit odd. Because they were two, only good against goth, yeah, but game not two. against anything. Yeah, game two. Yeah, yeah. Game two. Yeah. Um, yeah, but um, actually, I don't know. I think they should be quite okayish against most things. I didn't want to face Bohemians, I think, because they have like the anti-cavalry bonus. But other than that, I I was actually not too worried. Uh, the map, the well, we can talk about that later. But yeah. I think like just on paper, they lose to Bohemians, they lose to Bulgarians because it's so, they lose to Bohemians because of help, Bulgarians because of mm, so, Ethiopians because yeah. of so. Both have help no, no, and no, no, so, and this will be not good for Persians. <laughs> they used to no, Tatars because of flaming yeah. camels, and they used to uh, Goths because of Edge, yeah, edge, Tatars edge. are good, yeah, sure. But Bulgarians and Ethiopians don't have Treadmill Crane, and I think if I get a strong push going there, I don't even have to use Elephants. Uh, should be fine. And we saw the Persian-Ethiopian matchup before, and I think Persians looked quite good there. <clears throat> yeah, Persian looks really strong. It depends on the map, of course, but they're also good on water, so uh, decent in water at least, with a heavy demo. And uh, Ken Galleon as well. And you didn't think about using your re with the Persians? I did, yes, I did. But I got an extremely good start. I killed three villagers, and then I thought oh, this should be possible. <laughs> but no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, actually, yeah. nice pick. Actually, actually the, the, the problem was more that I didn't have any space to make any buildings and position my army there. I tried mm -hmm. to not take fights because I killed three builds. So I thought, okay, I don't want to take the fights because um, he will be pop capped with like, I don't know, 30 halberdiers. <laughs> And I will not be pop capped and I can build up in the two castles and so on. And uh, had my units then clumped up, but then I looked away for a second and then I took the fight, which was a good fight for me, but still made him unpop himself and I still lost uh, some army. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was unfortunate. Um, but at this point, it was too late to re and maybe I should have added some more, I don't know, secret seas workshops. There wasn't like no place for it. Yeah. Um, and maybe some more hand cannons before it could have worked. I don't know. But yeah, you got off to a really good starter, so yeah, I can understand why you didn't want to use the re when you killed so many villagers. Yeah. 
just a very hard shift to play against the gobs, where, where they can spam forever. Yeah, 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 especially on this map where it's like really short. But also on this map, I felt like okay, there's not much space to build farms, so both of us need farms, kind of. Uh, mm -hmm. But he really needs farms, like he needs infantry, and I can maybe still do something else uh, with cap uh, archers. We are somehow whatever. starting with game two. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so I don't know. I guess <laughs> we stay there. <laughs> um, uh, we, we got into on the Persian track, and then yeah, you you ask about the Persian, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that was the draft, right? Um, <laughs> Uh, did you see there was fish in the back too? Uh, in the Persian game? Uh, yeah. No, I don't think I checked on that. Because there was this wood line and then I needed to go around it, I think, to, to do that. I, I don't know. I, it's I 50. Just it's 50 on the trees, man. And, and I got a lot of that food, so that food income was quite valuable, but uh, yeah, still. Yeah, I was I just mean, out of pop. Look at this here on my stream. There's a 50 foot tree. Lumba camp here, and then you have absolutely <laughs> insanely oh, safe fish. Yeah, okay. <laughs> can you build on? Can you build on that ground though? Like, yeah, you can build on the like you build on water to this brown land here, so the same as possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Then it would have been like, like the your fishing ships all got killed by huskards, right? Definitely. Like there's a castle here. <laughs> it's just something anything, don't see every day. Yeah. Buy food OP, yeah, but okay. I mean, as Goth, you have more of more gold, right? You can sell a lot of wood, maybe buy some food in that matchup. And as Persians, you can also sell the wood, but I think I need the gold, so then that was a bit, a bit of a problem. Yeah, you took the market, right? So, yeah, yeah I, I think I did. Yeah. yeah, but I think Cameras was first with the market, like building it. I think. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you kind yeah, of should yeah. have not gotten it, but. Oh, you're yeah, also, also, also like he was playing mad tap, so the market is a bit like you don't really want to use it actually for your own eco, so it was just to take your the market from you away. Mm. And mm. he decided against it, I guess. Yeah, perhaps. Or I did you buy food, Camrad? I have to look at the end, right? Perhaps I could have pushed forward with um, with castles or towers, even. Not sure. Persian towers. Like yes. It. And he bought some. Yeah, we saw the truck towers being very good in the earlier set, right? Yeah, yeah, this fight, I mean, this is bad. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, you lost I mean, all your Savar there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, he wasn't really pop capped, I see now. He has 135. I, I would have expected that he would be more pop capped after I killed three bits. But yeah, Eco KD is 5 to 5. No, yeah, okay. Yeah, he killed 5 then after that. But you had a good rush there. Nice judgment from me. Yeah, Canvas Market is up now. Yeah, but it's not using yeah. it. There's yeah, so I use the market. Quite a while until. Um, I guess Cameron only buys food after he's out of food. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't have sold that food, but. Uh, ah, yeah, you food. sold food. Yeah. yeah, but just one K. I, it's not a big deal. Also, at this point here, I don't have gold and I have food, so yeah. But yeah, I mean, the spam is real, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> no. the ne never ending. Yeah, even the Persian cast has it, like, no choice. <laughs> yeah, I thought the Persian castles were too good against the infantry. They did probably, yeah. but not good enough. And yeah, Cameron had a nice amount of traps out. I was happy, but, like, how he has, like, six, seven traps out of one castle, too. Uh, right, I think that's it about game number two. Game yeah. one was really funny, because <laughs> the game was super over. And, and then? then it wasn't, and then you thought, oh shit, I have to make Magadans now. Or did you <laughs> were trolling no, 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 with no, the no. Magadans, and then you almost <laughs> lost the game again? No, How did it to you? No, the, the, so the point is, you have to be really careful against Trevidians. So I did manage to get a good rush and a good position on him, and uh, deny basically everything, cage him in. And at this point, if you commit too much, you can just lose the game by overcommitting. So if I just run in with my CA there, I think I might lose because the elephant archers are just are just way stronger and i need the meat shield and obviously i used the mark and it hadn't didn't have any eco i mean didn't have any rest behind so um yeah after the start after i caged him in and so on i just uh, said okay i'm just gonna go back go back to 200 pops set my eco up uh, while i hold the position at the front and annoy him with some raids on the sides and then i'm just gonna in, go in with 200 pop once i have that and finish the game and that's exactly what happened I really liked your villager you sent out me into the corner. 
behind yeah, yeah, this yeah. place. <laughs> <laughs> did he do uh, it on purpose or did he just walk over here? No, no did, you, look, he's putting a TC there. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, I see. I see, I see. Uh, actually, later on the TC. Yeah, so at this point it, it is like over, so to say. But okay, my traps weren't doing too much. And uh, now he's getting through some Ili Archer mass, and I don't have anything against those. Um, yeah, yeah. This depends on diet. Yeah, and now Well, you made us Magonals at least. Yeah, yeah, I don't think the manager ever made like, the TC. Oh, it did. He had a lot of Halberdiers, and I was trying to. Uh, he, he tried to manage the TC now. Um, but um, since he had the, the Halberdiers there, uh, I thought, okay, might as well try the Magonals and see if they, if they at least kill a couple of them. Yeah, I think they killed at least a couple. <laughs> uh, the Tarkin, the Tarkin kind of seemed to be the solution for killing the Iliad. Yeah, but yeah. you needed Fudiko first, right? So yeah, yeah, exactly. So and I now have no rest now, right? And I'm at okay, 160 pops, but 100 villagers. I'm just throwing but... the game for a little bit of background info. You don't have to comment like what. You don't have to cast your game. Just say no, <laughs> no. I'm just explaining my reasoning behind stuff, and I, I, I I'm very happy with how. I, how I just got went back there and not um, not fully committed everything into his army uh, and might lose because I don't think it was necessary to take that risk. Yeah. So at this point, his army. So you weren't worried at all. No, I was not worried at all. Uh, his, his army is, is decent, I know that, and I might lose that castle and then maybe the forward position, but my eco is like way better. I know that he has nothing. I have him completely caged in. I also checked the bottom with like 2C8 that you can see there. And then I raided his TCs and, and on the back as well, and I know that he has zero eco, so he can't do. Basically, probably has no food, as is the case. <laughs> and uh, yeah, why should I just take the fight now, right? Don't lose the CA at this point against the Iliad. Just, just wait him a little bit and wait until yeah. the Marcus. I mean, was, and, yeah, I mean, it was know. zero food gaming a lot in the set, also in the second yeah. set that he won. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, then game three and four, I think, were rather, like, unfortunate map sieve combinations for camera. Right, so game three was Gujaras against um, Bulgaria. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On a short map with uh, the two CA, uh, not CA, just... Yeah, the CA start, not heavy CA. And uh, I got like good start. He attacked my CA for some reason and didn't go for the villagers. And at that point, um, yeah, I was just rushing him down basically. And, yeah, he got up to some halberdiers. Uh, but after I hit that demo hit, uh, the game was just over. Yeah, yeah. nice bait into the demo. And then also like Bohemians, Bengalis, I think is a good matchup for Bohemians on land. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Could be so, uh, and, and I tried to play here or try to see if um, what would be better against Bohemians if Koreans or Bengalis would be better, and I figured Bengalis would probably better be better, um, at least try. And then I have Koreans left to play against uh, Ethiopians or Tatars, which should be Ethiopians quite is fine. like w w the one sieve that has a chance against Koreans on the first map, so I like that he kept that. Okay. I think I would still like Koreans more probably, but if you open seven trains at least. Yeah. I think you should snipe Koreans, but they're so slow though, Ethiopians. Yeah, they are really slow, yeah. I don't know. Koreans like are you, just you can make a few cavaliers and then yeah, then you then you're dead. <laughs> 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 then you die to towers and uh, wagons and onagers. Mm -hmm. Usually. Yeah. I mean just play your own onagers and two. Right? Yeah, I mean, Chris made it work against Daywalker, so yeah, I shouldn't say too much. Yeah, yeah. so game three, it's not much to say, say I think. In game four, I was expecting a re after like two minutes and it didn't come. And okay, <laughs> then I uh, should be fine here. And I have like all the docks set up already, a huge galley army on the on the YouTube water. He doesn't have any demo and you couldn't even stop that ga galley army at, at any point, so... Yeah, you yeah. think um, Gally opening is the better choice than demo opening there? Yeah, for sure. He he doesn't have any rush and he doesn't have heavy demo. So what should I be worried about? Just open Gally's, mess them up and then push. Yeah. It's very hard for Bohemians there, I think. Because yeah. you have to fight against the elephants and you also like the ships behind. And yeah, it's very hard to 
kill both at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Th then your opponent is killing you. Yeah. And I took that game quite slowly. So I once I had the position there, I took down his dogs and his front. I was just chilling and, and building my equa up, got all, get all the relics, also secure the game. Um, didn't want to try to make some kind of all in that. Um, probably would have worked, but but still, I was just trying to take it safe. Yeah, it was well played there, really well played. Taking the whole map, taking your time. Yeah. But yeah. Those wagons, though, it was very fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> <Fighting It's laughs> right, right. I, I know that wagons deal kind of okay damage as well against against the ships. Um, yeah. But yeah, I had some meat shield most of the time, <laughs> and then the cannon galleys as well to do some damage. And it's it's a very slow fight, you know. And it gives me all the time in the world to just set up everything behind, make sure he doesn't get anything on the sides. Go from I, I should have made more ships on the outside um, to just harass him from there and take down more stuff. I did that a little bit to control there, which was good. But I could have had some cannon galleons there as well um, to really also remove his structures. Yeah, but it's fine. Yeah, he couldn't really do anything about it, yeah. anyway. Yeah, well played. Congratulations again. Uh, do you know who you face in the round of 16? Should be Kellen. Oh. What do you think about Ooh. your chances? Ooh. Uh, it will be tough. <laughs> I will have to think about how I play that one, um, because he can re defend really well and spend his resources very, very nicely. And yeah, we'll we'll see. I, I'll give it my best. Is it best of five? Uh, round, round of 16, sixteen is the best of five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also GGs to Camrat. Nice games. GGs to Camrat. Indeed, GGs, good performance. GGs. And yeah, congrats. Thanks for co-casting, Mr. Frost. Thank you, Otto, for inviting me. Thank you.